guys, we are going to unbox the Luna 2.0. This is their AI version, so it's air integrated. Right off the bat, Scuba Pro wraps this in cardboard so there's no plastic to be seen, which is really awesome. So let's see what this looks like. Comes with a nice case to travel with. You can keep it protected. It's got a little handle. That's pretty nifty. Here we are. Look at this guy. This is the new Luna. Very first one delivered to us. You can see a little bit of the screen has already started to wake up and show us cool stats for all of our diving. Okay, so um, let's get a little bit more uh, in depth on the new Scuba Pro Luna 2.0. So I'll talk about the AI version, which is air integrated. Uh, so that's really what separates it from the standard Luna 2.0. It also, you can hook the heart rate monitor up to it as well which will measure, get this, heart rate. Also skin temperature, so that's why this one's fully human factored. You can put all of those into the algorithm and it'll adjust it a little bit. So that's the difference between the blue one I'm holding here and the black one here is air integration plus the heart rate monitor. Uh, with both of them, you'll notice they're super thin, um, which is because it's oil filled. So the fact that it's oil filled, it can go deeper, but also the case can be a little narrower. You don't have to worry about things getting squished in there because it's oil and the oil is not gonna squish. So that's really cool. Um, they also have two algorithms. So they have the standard uh, Z16 algorithm that Scuba Pros used for a long time. And then they have the gradient factor version of that. So that allows you to tweak that algorithm a little bit. I uh, don't wanna go too deep into what that is, but basically a computer's main job is to tell you, hey, this is how long you can stay here without having to do a safety stop. Or, you know, how long you have to, you know, you can stay down there and still make it to the surface. It's not so much the surface you can make it to it. We kind of use the math to create the ceiling with the gradient factors. We kind of tweak where that ceiling is, how soon that ceiling kind of kicks in and how long we have to stay at that ceiling before we go up to the surface. So with gradient factors, you can tweak that. So tech divers really like that a lot. For most divers, they've been, eh, whatever, not a big feature, but it has a standard one in there and it has uh, the option to do three gases. So you can do uh, nitrox, 100%, something else. So if you are getting into tech diving, it's gonna make those swaps for you. It has a free diving mode, they call it apnea mode, and it also has gauge mode. So if you're getting further into tech diving and you need something that just is gauge, it does that as well. It has, like the G2, it has a spot for bungees. So if you don't want this wrist strap on there, you can add a uh, bungee rip strap to it as well. The screen's pretty bright. It has two buttons, uh, two buttons, but they kind of act four ways. So pushing the, pushing the button and holding the button are two separate things. So the menu is actually pretty straightforward to go through. Uh, if you've used a Scuba Pro computer before, it's pretty intuitive in terms of how to do this. So like I'm in the settings right now and I am going to, you know, I can change the user settings, whatever I want to do, make it not metric anymore, put it into Imperial. Uh, they just came in really cool. They are a, not a rechargeable, it's a user changeable battery, but it's a 2450, so it's an easy battery to change. It has this kind of cool protector on it. We're gonna take this off. So if you're like, man, I like that AI version, but I didn't want that blue cover on it. Well, look at that, you don't have to have it on there. And then here's the battery door. Looks pretty straightforward. You're just gonna need a small Allen to, to take those off, and you'll have access to that battery compartment, 2450, uh, boom. I would think with this computer being lit up, probably once a year when you get your regs looked at, service, change the battery. Um, otherwise, uh, this looks really cool. I'm really excited for it. Uh, it's gonna be a kind of a great little backup for someone that already has like a G2, or if you're just getting into it, it's gonna be a great kind of starter computer. Lots of function here on this bad boy. So here, here's a close up on the back. So there's your battery cover. Take those two out, nice, just a, a plastic pry to pop that out. And uh, I would imagine there's an O-ring and a 2450 there. Let's look at the, the non-air integrated. So the first thing you notice is there's no cutout here for a transmitter. They don't sell this with the transmitter, but if you were traveling and you wanted to put it in there, it's got a spot for it. So this one has the same blue strap, but the protective um, case around it is black instead of blue. So you can take that off. It's got the same battery compartment. 
Um, with this one, I'll turn it on the same way. I'm going to hold the right button down, or is it both buttons? I'm going to turn it on by holding both buttons. So Emily has turned these on already, not me. Uh, so Scuba Pro Luna 2.0, nice bright screen. Notice on the screen, there's no spot for an, an air pressure. So you're utilizing the screen a little bit differently. All the same features that I talked about in the AI are here in terms of gauge mode, free diving mode, the gas capabilities. It can do three gases up to 100%. It has the dual algorithm. It doesn't do the heart rate monitor and it doesn't do the air integration. Um, the fact that it's got uh, gauge mode and does grading factors, this is a great entry level computer for a, a tech diver um, as well as, you know, sport divers. The bungee mounts on here, easy access. You can still have the wrist strap and a bungee mount, so that's pretty cool. Um, both of them have the Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone. Uh, the LogTrack 2.0 is going to allow you to update some settings, so that's one way to just boom, easily update it. And uh, also it's going to pull all the dives off of here, um, Trick. except for metric. Uh, so we have two buttons here, one on either side. Push this button, it's going to scroll through whatever features I have on you know set. But if I hold it down, I'm going to go into the menus. So the right button will kind of scroll down. The left button here will scroll up. Uh, dive mode, settings, logbook, I can return. Um, I'm sure if I hold the left button down, which let's just do that, it's just going to bounce back to the main screen, which is kind of like an escape button. So let's go back into that. I'm going to go down to settings. I'm going to hold the right button down to enter into those. And I'm going to go down to the user settings. And I'm going to hold my right button. Did I? Okay, I'm going to go. I think it's going to be fun because I held it down too long. So hold it down. And then here's where I can set workload. Um, I can set how long the light stays on. Um, probably the light duration or the brightness. Uh, the units of measurement, which is what I want to change right now. So I'm going to hold the right button down to go in there. I'm going to toggle that from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then lock it in by holding the right button. Toggle that between PSI and bar. And once I get it to PSI, hold it down. And then toggle that. Hold it down. So that's all set. I could add my owner information. That's probably easier to do through the Log Track app. Um, in fact, that's probably the main way to do it. Uh, DSAT would be if you needed to clear it out, if you were using it for rental or something. That's all I really want to do in there right now. This uh, diver here, it's kind of, it's big, it stands out, and like, what the heck, why is that on there? It's actually pretty cool why that's on there. So this has three modes. It has gauge mode, scuba mode, and apnea mode, free diving mode. So that icon there lets you know what mode it is, so you never have to guess, which is been a problem with some of our computers in the past people go ahead and you know accidentally try to do a dive in an apnea mode and be like well, my computer wasn't too useful for me so if we go to uh dive here i'm gonna hold down this button and gonna go to mode so i'm gonna hold down this button again Oop. so i held it down look you can see as i scroll through the different modes apnea free diving there's a someone swimming down with just fins no tank uh, scuba, they got a tank and bubbles, and then gauge mode is just a picture of a, of a little gauge. Uh, so that's an awesome way to kind of know what mode you're in just by glancing at the computer. 